Now is the winter of our discontent, made glorious summer by this son of York, and all the clouds that lard upon our house in the deep bosom of the ocean buried. What news abroad? No news so bad abroad. At this at home, the, the king is sickly, weak and melancholy, and his physicians fear him mightily. If he were dead, what would betide of me? No other harm but loss of such a lord. The loss of such a lord includes all harm. He cannot live, I hope, and must not die till George be packed with post horse up to heaven. Brother, good day. And what means this armed guard that waits upon your grace? His majesty tendering my person safety at the point of this conduct to convey me to the tower. Upon what cause? Because my name is George. Dead they are, and devilish slave by thee. I did not kill your husband. Look, when I am king, claim thou of me the earldom of Hereford, and the movables whereof the king my brother stood possessed. I'll claim that promise at your grace's hands. <laughs> Simple, plain plans. Take that! I do love thee so, that I will shortly send thy soul to heaven. Us, us, why we are met, is to determine the coronation. I wish the bastard's dead. Our king is dead. Long live Richard, England's royal king! <laughs> 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 shall we do if we perceive Lord Hastings will not yield to our complots? Pop off his head, man. <laughs> I think there is never a man in Christendom that can be less hid of his face or hate than he. For by his face straight shall you know his heart.